Hi guys, here's another short blender tip and we're going to be using the array modifier again but this time we're going to be making an array that goes around a central um, circular point. So here's our basic primitive object there um, and I'm just going to go into a top view and we'll go into edit mode with this object selected and I'm just going to drag it out to offset it a little bit over to the left there. Okay, and back out of edit mode into object mode and I'm going to create an empty object. I'm gonna hit R and Z to rotate in the Z axis and we're gonna rotate it maybe 20 degrees. Okay, so we'll select our original object, go to the modifiers and we'll add the array modifier We'll up the number count and we'll tick object offset and we'll choose empty as our object offset. So you can see we're beginning to get a um, circular shape there, but it's still not quite what we're looking for. It's a little bit rough around the edges. So as you can see, by moving this around, it changes things. Um, we can also rotate our cube object on the z-axis and you'll see it also begins to change things so we're starting to get something closer to what it is we're actually looking for if we go into edit mode however and we rotate on the z-axis you'll see that we can actually bring all of the faces nicely aligned facing inwards. Now if we up our object count we now have a nice circular array of our objects. Now if you were to hit the apply button we now have this one object there and we could remove if we want our empty object. And now we have our, our circular array of cubes. So that's how we can create an array object in a um, circular or radial array. So I hope you found this short blended tutorial tip useful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can keep up to date with all our latest Blender tips and tutorials. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.